Okay, uh, I figured out what was wrong in the uh, previous tutorial. By the way, this is uh, Intermediate Blender Game Engine Tutorial 4. Uh, I'm sorry, Part 4. Uh, I figured out what was wrong with our original one. Uh, you have to turn the text into a mesh. That was my fault. Uh, once you turn it into a mesh uh, it, and add in a background, add a world, just go into the world button and add that. Uh, you will see that it works. And even if you don't have the Python script installed, if you move your mouse around, it will load the scene. Uh, but I don't know if we covered on how to load the scene. So let me just uh, show you what that's going to look like. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we did cover that. Um, so that's good to go. Uh, that will be your start menu. Um, and you can do different things in here. Um, you know, lots of different things. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I'll add like a character spinning around or you can add things falling. And, uh, I, I have a couple tutorials. Just uh, look at my uh, other videos that I have posted and you will see some cool menus uh, that you can do. And if you have any questions on menus, just uh, feel free to, you know, ask me a question. I got no issues with that. Um, I'll, uh, in the final one, or in one of my advanced ones, I'm going to show how to set up different menus, two or three menus, and how to add the Python script and everything in. All right, so uh, let's get going here. Uh, this tutorial is going to be all about heads-up display. Uh, that's going to be it, pretty much, heads-up display, and if I can fit it in, I'll add in a object to pick up. But just like we did with our original, uh, with the menu, we want to add a camera. Uh, go ahead and pull the camera up on the Z-axis and add a plane. All right. And we want a lamp as well. All right. And once you get all three of those, make sure that everything's facing the correct direction. Uh... Once we get everything set up here, once I can get everything set up, we will get going. Okay, well anyways, I don't know why mine's being retarded, but uh, it is for some reason, which is fine. It's a lot to be. Okay, um, I want you to add a new texture. Uh, we're going to add, and this is something you're going to probably have to download from my website. Uh, you can go there and download it, or you can go online and find one. But you want an aerial bd.tga. That's or that's what it's going to be called. Uh, but basically, what you want is an aerial font, okay? Um, and I'll show you what it's going to look like here in the UV editor because this is how you're going to have to add it. Uh, aerial. All right, basically this is what it looks like. Um, okay, uh, basically this is what it looks like here. Uh, you wanna make sure that you hit map to UV as well, or it's gonna screw you. Um, what I did was I uh, unwrapped it just like any other texture, and what you wanna do is you want to circle the A. All you want is the A on there, that's it. All right. Once you get this rotated around so it's right side up. All right. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but the better it is, the better it's going to look. All right, that's pretty much perfect. Okay. Uh, next thing you want to do is stay in edit mode and go over here and go to the texture face. Click on two sided and text. And then come into your logic bricks and click on add new and type in string and you can put this one as score and let's see if that works uh, no it didn't we need to okay what you need to do is instead of putting a uh, score in the name box you need to put text it's my mistake and then score next to it that way when you load it, it shows score Okay, and I know it looks crappy, but uh, like I said, this is just a basics tutorial. Get you guys on your feet, okay? So we got that one. Now you can copy and paste that right there and make this one an integer. Name it to text as well, all right? And we're going to start the integer at zero. 
And now you have score zero. Uh, I'm also going to add, just for aesthetics, add that in. All right. Good to go. Okay, now to add this scene to your, uh, to add this overlay into your scene, let's go ahead and name it HUD. Uh, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to your original scene uh, and click on your camera, wherever that might be. Camera, there we go. And uh, add, add, add. Always add scene overlay, and then the name of your scene, HUD. Spelled correctly. Okay. And then when you load up your game, it's got your, your HUD on there. All right? See how that works? That is very easy. And you can do different tricks from there. Uh, make sure the lighting's correct and stuff like that. Make sure it looks good. Uh, I will also, in an advanced tutorial, go over how to make a health bar. And that will be good. You'll like that. Let's see if I can get this all lined up. See, the lighting does matter in this one here. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to try and cover really quick is uh, an object that you can pick up, okay? So go ahead and we're just going to make a very simple object. Uh, make a sphere, okay? Make it smaller. Move it to the right, okay? And uh, a lot of this is just logic. Uh, it's not really, you can make the colors whatever you want, I don't care. Um, but we're going to say, when you collide, with property player, okay, I want you to end object and also send a message. Uh, yeah, I want the subject to be score, okay? So when collision with player happens, you're gonna end the object and also send a message score. Then we go over to the HUD, all right? and click on that guy right there uh, for your score, the one that's set as zero, and click on add, add, and add. And then for the first box, we want, when you receive the message of subject score, we want you to change the property text. We want it to add, put positive 10, or whatever number you want, okay? So when you go back to the scene, you're walking around, boom. Not only did the object disappear, but we got 10 points. And that'll, you can copy and paste these and put them everywhere. So you only have to make one of them, okay? Watch, running around, boom, 10, 20, 30, and our door opened, okay? That's how that works. All right, to the next tutorial.